Okay, we're back looking at explicit formulas for sequences. Here's another example. Consider the sequence t sub n is equal to 4 times n. We'd like to know what are the first four terms for this sequence. Okay. Well, all we have to do is send an argument. Okay. We need to find out what term we're on, and that is the n. So let's see what this looks like. Using subscript notation, we would say that t sub 1 is equal to 4 times our n, which is 1. This is the first term, so it would be 4 times 1, which is 4. Okay, let's see here now. t sub 2. t sub 2 would be equal to 4 times 2 which is 8. t sub 3 would be equal to 4 times 3, which is 12. And t sub 4 would be 4 times 4, which is 16. So it's just that easy. This, uh, these explicit formulas really aren't that bad as long as you know what the argument is to send to the function. All right, example three, Muriel is attacked by bacteria, that is. Yes, a little bit of biological fact here. Bacteria reproduce by splitting. The cells, you know, a single cell splits into two cells, and then those two cells each split, creating four, and then those four cells split, creating eight, so you end up with an exponential function here. And every time the bacteria split, you've got something called a generation. So this can all be described mathematically. Muriel, Muriel gets sneezed on. Somebody sneezes on her right as she is breathing in. And 500 bacteria get breathed into her nasal cavity and they sit there. And over a period of time, they split. And they become a thousand bacteria. And then those thousands split. And they become two thousand. And so on, and so on, and so on. Now, how do we describe this? Like this. Let's use a function. We're going to call it B for bacteria. And we're going to send it an argument of G for generation. All right. You'll be able to determine from this function exactly how many bacteria are in Mariel's nasal cavity for any given generation. All right, so B sub G will be equal to 500, that was the initial amount of bacteria that was breathed in. All right, those are each splitting, they are doubling, okay, and um, the exponent here is equal to the number of generation minus 1. So if we're on the first generation, this would be 1 minus 1, which would be 0, and 2 to the 0 power is 1, and 1 times 500 is 500. So initially, the first generation is going to be 500. And then the second generation, after it has split once, this would be 2 minus 1, and that would give us uh, 1. And so there we're getting, we're getting our 1,000 bacteria. All right, so the question is, how many bacteria will there be in the seventh generation? So B sub 7 would be equal to 500 times 2 to the 7 minus 1, which is 6. So, b sub 7 is actually going to be equal to 500 times um, 2 to the 6th, which is 64. So, after 7 splits on the 7th generation here, she's going to have, let's see here, 5 times 64 is 320 with two zeros on the end. So we're looking at 32,000 
bacteria in Muriel's nasal cavity.